Peltier, Peltier, Peltier. So today we are going to talk about Peltier. Uh, the device is a solid state cooling chip which uh, is very popular nowadays and everybody uh, is listening about these chips uh, all over internet you can find anywhere uh, you can see people are doing a lot of different experiments and uh, some claiming that it's very useful some claims that uh, it is very powerful others say that it's useless so I'm going to uh, reveal the secret um, behind the Peltier chip that uh, it uh, really works or not so today I'm having uh, uh, some some of my used Peltiers uh, which I already make uh, used in a lot of my other videos so I clean it up and kept it in my uh, spare parts yard <clears throat> so firstly I bought uh, a couple of these uh, TEC12706 uh, which I found was pretty good and uh, it is widely available all over the internet so i was thinking that maybe this is the the best chip available in the market that's why it is well known everybody knows about it uh, and accidentally i purchased these uh, accidentally i purchased this uh, chip sp1848sa so uh, then i did a little research then i found that this these chips are uh, high temperature resistant and uh, these are for power generation not for cooling purpose but uh, they have some cooling effect so without doing research I purchased these uh, in a bunch of five uh, a group of five uh, Peltiers in one shot I purchased which also was a little expensive and I purchased uh, experiment doing uh, TEC12705 uh, I purchased a couple of these and I tried um, doing my own researches online experiment I checked the data uh, data, data sheet about uh, these and I found pretty similar to 12706 only the amps are different what I don't like about these are like I feel that they are a little bit less in cooling effect so I never use these in my any other projects so all of these were stored in my junkyard then uh, mostly I used uh, TEC12703 that are already uh, installed in my other devices which I made I made one fridge you can see my other videos about one fridge one small nano AC uh, window AC and different projects so the question is how durable are these Peltiers as you can see the corners where the wires are soldered are really fragile for example if you're not handling it uh, uh, very uh, sensitively it is like uh, it is going to break and the edges of the ceramics are really fragile so once the wire is uh, moved a couple of times it will break the soldering inside and this is not going to work so the chip ends working and it will never generate any cooling effect or heating effect so it will fail so in uh, uh, some of the in some uh, Peltier experiments I did uh, recover fixing the Peltiers like I just removed the silicone glue from the side and trace it and I just resolder the wiring from the corner that is possible but in most cases it doesn't work so you you are going to lose one of your chip if you don't handle it uh, really well uh, these are really high temperature resistant I found these are useful and you can see the width <coughs> so 
So today I'm going to talk about the width of the pelt here is uh, very important as well. This is 4 mm. This chip is 4 mm. SP1848. The distance between this uh, two ceramic plates is very important because it is going to transfer the heat from one end to the other which is uh, really bad it will affect uh, really badly on the cooling side let's check the let's check the width of the TEC12706 it is uh, 3.7 and that one is 4 mm let's check uh, TEC 12705 the width is almost similar to TEC 12706 so I found that uh, the chips which are having power generation capabilities that chip width is uh, similar to DEC12703 which uh, currently I don't have uh, on my table but I already used that I found that DEC12703 is are really good for cooling effect because uh, it consumes less power so less power means uh, l less current means less heat and uh, the cooling effect is really rapid okay so the main question is how well the Paltiers are uh, performing while cooling. So now all these researches I found that uh, if you are not uh, providing the best uh, heat removing, heat dissipating solution on the back side, it is not going to give you the cooling effect. For example, <clears throat> If I'm not going to install any heat sink over here, so this side is going to get warmer uh, right after a few seconds. And it is also going to burn the chip. The problem is, so you need to find out the best cooling solution for the first uh, back side, like the heating side. If you are going to reduce the heat, it is going to perform well. So the best uh, heat uh, dissipation is uh, by a water cooling system and uh, you have to use water cooling blocks and you have to use radiators, then you have to use fans and everybody I think knows about water cooling blocks. Uh, let me just show you. So this is kind of like water cooling block. Uh, it's used, I uh, used in a couple of my projects and I recovered back. So these things are quite expensive. Uh, like this block is uh, for I think around $5 and the chip is around also $5. So you have to spend $10 each time. Uh, what it does is like it circulates the water inside to remove the heat from the heating side of the Peltier and it uh, brings all the heat to the radiator and the radiator dissipates the heat into the air and uh, you need to use the fan to blow the air on the radiator so it cools down the water and the cycle continues so once you start using water cooling system the Peltier will perform really well it will give you an ice uh, formation effect on the side which is you can see the numbers the problem which I face using Paltier is these things are useless. It is going to like uh, not give you, it's not going to give you any cooling effect or it is not going to cool your entire room. If you use hundreds of these also, I don't think it is going to cool down any room. Because what I found is it is going to cover only a small area uh, for the cooling effect. If you give exposure to this surface to the whole room or environment it is going to get very badly affected. For example, it is just removing the heat from uh, the small surface. Once you start to expand the surface uh, 
that it should remove the heat from that larger surface the cooling effect will drop and the example is like once you start blowing normal room temperature air over this you will not see any uh, ice formation over here so if you are going to start blowing the hot air what will be the effect what what will be the consequences you can see uh, uh, it is uh, not going to work so the question is uh, why it was designed and why it is uh, available widely in the market uh, you uh, you will never see anything uh, relying on these chips like so uh, what my understanding is that these chips were designed to <clears throat> generate power and these were for cooling down the processors of the computer it is actually the same size of the processor if you just directly install this uh, onto the processor for example this is your processor and this is the Peltier if you are going to directly uh, contact between the processor and the Peltier it is going to cool down the processor very rapidly because there is no other area it should cool it is directly removing the heat from the processor and pumping out the heat to the heating end and then you have to use water cooling system to remove the heat from here the effect will be like the processor will be cooled down and the heat will be removed through the water cooling system and dissipate into the air by radiators so that is the whole idea which I believe but I have uh, uh, in my experience I never did that uh, in my own PC or something I did not found any uh, people doing maybe but this thing is designed for such things only it is not meant to cool down the whole a room or a fridge or something the cooling effect is quite okay but it consumes a lot of power and it takes a lot of time to cool down a even a small area in my other videos you have seen I'm making AC I'm making fridge but that fridge itself uh, takes a while to cool down a very small surface like a, a 4 inch by 8 inch space so that Peltier uh, but it was a single Peltier fridge so it doesn't give a real cooling effect so the final question is like um, is it uh, useful or uh, does it worth uh, purchasing these Peltier chips so I believe it depends on the uh, application you are going to apply for example if you are going to use it for cooling down the room so don't purchase it uh, don't purchase these chips I will recommend not to purchase these chips for building up any AC or anything else for re doing your own researches studies like I did in my other project I uh, stack uh, I just glued uh, these uh, peltiers into a cube shape and I installed in between a cube water cooling system to see what how well it performs for example if it's a four directional cooling system so it should be giving us a really rapid cooling effect which even doesn't work for me so and that's why I stop experimenting on this but uh, later on I'm going to do another research videos uh, I will try and I will bring in the uh, results in front of my viewers and I will show you that whether or not these things are worth or worth or not so thanks for watching uh, have a great day and please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, these are just a couple of uh, peltiers which I still have in my junkyard but I have uh, invested hundreds of dollars in uh, doing research on these Peltiers but uh, doesn't work and this doesn't work at all so thank you for watching and do like share and my uh, subscribe to my youtube channel please watch my other videos and hope you like enjoying this video thank you very much have a great day bye bye